Hi guys, my name is Goya. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about shoes. People say you can tell a lot about a person by their shoes. It's true. When I first meet someone, I look at their face and then I look at their shoes. So I would say invest in your shoes before you even invest in your clothes. Shoes are the workhorse in your wardrobe. You can pair them with so many different outfits. You really don't need a lot of them. And that's why I think you should definitely buy less and buy better. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 pairs of shoes that I find really versatile. If you have them, you pretty much don't need anything else. I will also show you examples of how I style them with my outfits. Let's jump right in. A pair of flat sandals is going to be your savior in summer. They are presentable, comfortable to walk in, and they go with pretty much everything. These are my sandals. I got them when I was traveling in Florence years ago, and god, I'm still obsessed with them. This is what true love feels like. These are made of leather, and over the years I've used them and abused them, but they still hold up really well. Of course, you don't need anything excessive like these long straps that I have here. Sandals with clean and simple designs like the ones I'm showing you in the photos are actually perfect. Um, I will also choose neutral colors like brown or black, especially brown because I think it's more suitable in summer. This is an example of how I would style my flat sandals in summer. I usually wear whites with them. The simple color scheme just gives off that clean and breezy vibe that's perfect for summer. Sneakers are probably the most comfortable shoes out there, and among them, white sneakers are the most versatile. They are simple enough that you can wear them in many different occasions. Uh, we can wear them when we work out or on a casual day, and some people even pair them with a dress or a suit. These are my Adidas white sneakers that I've had for a long time. There's really nothing special to them. They're just a pair of really classic plain white sneakers. Um, I usually wear them when I need to walk a lot or when I'm exercising or dancing. Personally, I will only pair my white sneakers uh, with casual outfits. I don't wear them with dresses or suits because that's just not my style. This is an example of the kind of casual outfit that I would wear with my white sneakers. I like to pair them with jeans and a blue striped shirt because I think the white and blue look really harmonious together. When it comes to special occasions during summer, a pair of strappy heel sandals is all you need. They look formal enough and they are surprisingly comfortable because that single strap just sets your toes free, if you know what I'm saying. These are my strappy heel sandals. Um, I picked them up in a small boutique. I don't even know what brand they are, but they've been working pretty well for me. The most recognizable strappy heel sandals has to be Stora Wiseman, but most brands out there carry the exact same style. I would say nude and black are the most versatile colors. This is an example of how I wear my strappy heel sandals in summer. I just pair them with a simple wrap dress and I'm good to go. This is how you can be effortless in a formal party. If you only need one pair of heels, make it a pair of black pumps. They are the most versatile heels out there. You can wear them to work, to formal events, or any occasions that would require you to be a bit more put together. These are my Jimmy Choo black pumps. They're pretty much my go-to evening shoes. Anytime there's an event, these babies are out. But I have to tell you they're not comfortable, so I only wear them when I know I wouldn't be walking too much or standing for too long. I have yet to find a pair of pumps that are comfortable because they all kind of clam your toes together. Um, but I think lower heels would definitely help. If you really like this style, you can also get them in nude. They are equally versatile. This is an example of how I wear my evening dress with my black pumps. This look is really simple, but it's sophisticated and elegant at the same time. Oh my god, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's getting really loud out there. This is what happens when you live downtown. It's against fur parade, so I really support it. Let's continue. If you really don't like wearing heels but you still want to look put together, then ballet flats are made for you. They are comfortable to walk in and they still make you look ultra feminine. 
I don't have the classic kind of ballet flats that I showed you in the photo. Um, these ones I have are from a smooth duty. Strictly speaking, they are more like Mary Jane, but some brands call them ballet flats too, so I'll go with that. In this example, I'm pairing my ballet flats with an A-line dress. Since round toe shoes tend to make you look a bit shorter, it would help if your dress or skirt is above the knee. This way, it can visually elongate your legs. Along the same line as ballet flats, loafers are another great option to replace heels. Loafers will make you look a bit more androgynous, which I personally like. Instead of the kind of loafers I showed you in the photo, I chose Oxfords because I like the style better. Um, but loafers and Oxfords are always lumped together anyway. These are from Long Wang. I got them secondhand from Poshmark. Loafers and Oxfords are perfect for pairing with blazers. They are all inspired by men's style, so it's not surprising. In this example, I chose a pussy bow silk blouse underneath to balance out the overall masculinity. Ankle boots are my everyday shoes from fall, winter, and spring. They are so comfortable, so easy to style, and they make you look really cool. These are my go-to ankle boots. I got them from Zara two years ago. I like the pointy toe and the lace-up details, but if I were to purchase another pair, I would choose something more classic, like the ones I'm showing you in the photo. And since they are my everyday shoes, I would choose a lower heel. Um, like you can see here, these ones are actually not very tall. It's so hard to choose just one outfit as the example because I wear my ankle boots with pretty much everything but this is my regular day-to-day -day outfit, just a simple turtleneck, a skirt and my ankle boots. Knee-high boots are a practical and refined option for fall and winter. They keep your legs warm and they also make your outfit look put together. These are my nice knee-high boots. They are Louboutin. Although they make me look super sleek, I don't wear them as often because I'm kind of afraid of ruining them. So I'm actually looking for a pair of flat knee-high boots for everyday wear, like a pair of brown leather riding boots. But I still haven't found the perfect ones yet, so I am still holding out on that. You could choose a pair of black knee-high boots or a pair of brown ones. It all depends on which color goes better with most of your outfits and your bags. The heel height doesn't really matter, just whatever you're comfortable with. This is an example of how I would wear my knee-high boots with a casual outfit. I'm wearing a black turtleneck, a pair of jeans, and a long black coat. We've got ankle boots, knee-high boots, how about over-the-knee boots? I actually don't think they're required, but I put them on the list because I don't want to miss anything. Stuart Wiseman also makes the most popular over-the-knee boots. These are a cheaper version from Aldo. They are made of suede material. These are perfect if you want to keep warm and look sexy at the same time in winter. I don't wear these as often, and when I do, I usually pair them with a long sweater or a mini skirt. This is what I'm talking about. I'm just pairing my over-the-knee boots with a really simple black sweater because the boots are already the star of the show, so you don't want to pair them with anything over the top. I'm all about practicality. If you live somewhere with heavy snows in winter like I do, I've got you covered. You would definitely need a pair of snow boots so that you don't ruin your other beautiful shoes. These are my cougar boots that I wear in heavy snow. They're actually hiking boots, but I like the grip at the sole because they prevent me from slipping and falling on my face. That's kind of important. And they are also waterproof, so even if the snow melts, I will still be fine. If you live in warmer weather where it doesn't snow at all, you don't need to worry about it. This is how I dress when it's really cold or it's snowing heavily, which unfortunately is at least three months of the year for me. Just me and my Canada Goose, root stocks, and my Cougar boots. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also have a video called Wardrobe Basics, which is all about versatile clothing pieces. I'll leave the link below in case you haven't watched it. And yeah, I'll see you next time.